Alright boys, I know what you guys are thinking. This video is complete clickbait, it's complete bullshit. Alright, it's exactly like those fake ads Fall Guys was tweeting about. Please stop lying to us, I'm unsubscribing, disliking, I'm getting the f*** out of here. Well, it actually is. In this video, I'm going to show you guys proof that Fall Guys is actually coming to mobile. It's coming to iOS and Android. And on top of that, I'm going to show you guys a bunch of new leaks as well, including new future item shops so you guys know what skins are coming to each shop. And so much more. There's a ton of good info. I want to share with you guys in this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Make sure to drop a like on this video if you do enjoy. Let's shoot for 100 likes. And I noticed a small percentage of you guys are subscribed to my channel. So if you guys end up enjoying this video, make sure to go down and subscribe. It's completely free and you can always unsubscribe. But anyway, let's get right into the leaks. So the first one I want to show you guys, all right, it's a bit bland. However, I think it's kind of cool. Here are all of the images that spawn on the Jumbotrons in game. If you guys have played like the racing game modes, you know, where you try to race to the finish line you see these jumbotrons with like these big images on them and these are all of the images that spawn on them for some reason they're all like chinese for some reason but i thought this was kind of cool we actually can see what these images look like the next thing i'm going to share with you guys is actually really cool so it's like a complete guide on how to get the most fame for every match if you guys are trying to rank up the battle pass as fast as possible this guide will show you guys exactly what you need to do and exactly how you can get the most fame in every game so the guy that made this guy drew haas explains it it as so. Each round you play will award a base amount of fame, even if you are eliminated. Episodes may last between 3 to 6 rounds. So as you can see in round 1 you get 15 fame, if you make it to round 2 it's 0, if you make it to round 3 you add 10 more, round 4 10 more, round 5 15 more, and round 6 0 more. So even if you make it to every round you're always going to get a base amount of fame. He continues on saying, in racing rounds you will earn fame based on how well you qualify. Hurry to the finish line. So if you finish in first place you get a significant amount more more fame than if you finish like second or third so in first place you get 63 fame if you finish top 20 percent you get 45 fame if you finish top 50 percent you get 28 fame and if you just qualify you get 10 fame you can tell what place you come in based off the color of the badge so as you can see if you come in first place it's gold top 20 percent is like this blue silver looking color top 50 percent is this bronze color and if you get this pink color you just qualify and of course if you get eliminated you get no fame he then continues on saying in team rounds fame is awarded based based on team ranking. Check the color of your badge to calculate fame earned. So I'm pretty sure this applies to all team games. So if you come in first, right? If you have the most amount of points, you get 45 fame. And even if you come in second, if you get silver, you still get 45 fame as well. So you get the same amount of fame added if you come in first or second in a team game. If you come in third, you get 28 fame. And once again, if you're eliminated, you get nothing. Once again, you can check the badge color to see how much fame you get for the team games. Now, when it comes to survival rounds, you must qualify in order to earn fame all right for the survival rounds you know like the fruit match game like the uh, the one where you jump over the uh, the moving rods all of those types of games basically if you qualify you get the same amount of fame all right doesn't matter if you come in like a certain place because there really isn't any places to come in so if you qualify you get 28 fame if you get eliminated you get zero and if you win the final round all right if you make it all the way to the end and win the game you get 203 fame no matter what so obviously you want to try to win every game because you get a significant amount more fame than if you come in like second so yeah i thought i'd share that little fame guide with you guys so you guys know exactly how much fame you're getting and exactly what you need to do in order to get the most fame pretty much just come in first all right boys that's pretty much it the next thing i want to share with you guys is all of the current challenges you can do in game to get extra kudos so hypex fall guys who is a very reliable source for fall guy news tweeted out all current challenges so here are all the current challenges if you stay in the air for 20 seconds you get a thousand kudos honestly boys i I don't know how you can do that i'm not sure exactly how that's possible but you get a thousand kudos if you do that somehow if you qualify for 10 rounds you get a thousand kudos if you finish 10th or above in the third round you get a thousand kudos if you finish round three five times you get an extra thousand kudos if you hold an egg for 10 seconds or more in the egg scramble game mode you get a thousand kudos and if you earn 50 score you get a thousand kudos that one's pretty easy so yeah those are some ways you can get some extra kudos in game if you guys are trying to save up for anything in the item shop speaking of the item shop we have a ton of leaks here showing off what the future item shops are gonna hold so if you guys don't know already the item shop in game uh circulates i believe like every three two or three days something like that and 
thanks to Hypex, once again, we know what exactly is going to be in the item shop over these next few weeks. So the August 19th featured item shop is going to have T-Rex, which costs 4,500 kudos, and the bottom half, which is 4,500 as well. On August 22nd, the PC featured item shop is going to have this uncommon emote here, Applause, which costs 5,000 kudos. That one's pretty pricey. On August 22nd, the PS4 shop is going to have some cooler items. I'm not going to lie. Okay, they're going to have the Applause emote and also the Parakeet skin, which is going to cost five crowns to get the top and five crowns to get the bottom. So this item right here, very, very exclusive. As for the 25th shop, both PS4 and PC are going to have the Flower Pot skin, which costs one crown to get the upper and one crown to get the lower. August 27th is going to have the Tomato, which it costs one crown to get the upper and one crown to get the lower. And it's also going to have this rare emote right here, which costs 6,500 kudos. The 29th shop is going to have the Horsey skin here, one of my personal favorites. It's going to cost one crown to get the top and one crown to get the bottom. And the 31st shop is going to have the Monkey skin, another one of my favorites. I mean, come on, you can't hate this guy. That's going to cost one crown to get the top and one crown to get the bottom. Moving into September, yes, we have all of the item shops up until September. On September 3rd, the PC featured shop is going to have the Shell skin right here, or the Shell skin, I don't know how you pronounce it. Five crowns to get the top and five crowns to get the bottom. And the September 6th featured shop is going to have my friend Pedro, which is five crowns to get the top and five crowns to get the bottom. It's pretty much like a banana skin. So yeah, some pretty cool skins coming in the near future. So if you guys are saving up your crowns, there you go. You guys can see what's coming. The next thing I want to show you guys is actually really, really cool. So Hypex, who's been providing all of these leaks that I've showed you guys in the past, he was able to unlock all of the patterns that are currently in game and also some unreleased patterns as well. So there's a clip rolling on your screen right now showing off every single pattern that's in the game and also including some leaked patterns that are going to be coming to the shop in the near future. A ton of really cool patterns here. I'm not going to lie. I mean, some of them are actually really sick. I prefer to have a full skin on, you know, a full top and bottom. But hey, if you guys are into like mix and matching your patterns, here you guys go. And finally, the info that all of you guys have been waiting for. You might be wanting to yourself, how do you know Fall Guys is coming to mobile? Like what proof do you have? Because once again, Fall Guys is saying, no, it's not on mobile yet. All right, it's only on PC and PS4. How do you know Fall Guys is coming to iOS and Android? Well, Hypex, who has been providing all of my leaks in the past, once again, he has been very accurate with stuff coming to the game. He even correctly predicted the first item shop reset that happened in game. He leaked it previously, like a few days before the shop actually reset. So you guys know you can trust my source right here, all right? So Hypex tweeted out, Fall Guys are planning to add it to iOS and Android. Android based on some placeholders they have in the files. So if you guys are still confused, basically what my source here does, which is Hypex, he's able to data mine the files in game and see what is coming within, you know, the next few weeks. That's how he was able to get all of these item shop leaks and also get every single pattern and also the up and coming patterns in the game. He also leaks stuff related to Fortnite as well. And he's always been accurate in the past when it comes just to data mining files and leaking information in general. So it is safe to assume that Fall Guys is going to be coming to mobile on iOS and Android in the near future, especially because Hypex was able to data mine some files related to Fall Guys being on iOS and Android. And plus, I mean, it really wouldn't make sense for Fall Guys to not be on other platforms in the near future. I mean, it's already a huge hit on PC and PS4. So I have no doubt in my mind that Fall Guys is not only going to be added to mobile, iOS and Android, but I feel like they're also going to add it to Nintendo Switch and Xbox in the near future as well. But anyway, thank you guys all so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.